Are you wanting to purchase a new home, but trying to understand the offer process is leaving you a little bit bug-eyed? Well then grab a notepad and pen because in this video, I am going to run through the entire offer process so that you can purchase that new home with confidence. If we haven't met yet, my name is Michelle Glasgow from the award-winning Elmond Oak Real Estate Team, where my sisters and I specialize in helping first-time homeowners purchase their first home and invest in real estate in the GTA and surrounding areas. So you've found the perfect home, now what? Let's go over what you can expect in the offer process. Before a good agent can prepare an offer for you, they will need the following details. Number one, the purchase price. The agent will be able to help you to determine the purchase price by going over recently sold properties that are similar in the area. This will help you to determine what the market value of the property that you're trying to purchase is. Number two, the agent will also need to know how much of a deposit you will be providing. If you haven't checked out our video on deposit versus down payment, I strongly recommend taking a look at that video first and then coming back to this video. Number three, the closing date. This is the date in which you would like to take possession of the property. Number four, your agent will also need to know if there's any conditions that need to be added. These are conditions such as inspection condition, financing condition, or even a status certificate condition. Number five, the agent will also need to know any extra items that need to be included in your offer for purchase. These are things such as window coverings, electrical light fixtures, the appliances, and noting anything that the seller has excluded from the purchase of the property. And number six, the agent is also going to need to know the date that the offer will expire. This is also known as the irrevocable period. Once we have all of these details, your agent will prepare what is known as the Agreement of Purchase and Sale, also known as the APS. Once prepared, your agent will present this to you for signing. Once yourself and all other buyers of the property has signed the Agreement of Purchase and Sale, we, your realtor, will then sign our portion of the Agreement of Purchase and Sale and then submit the offer to the listing agent. The listing agent will then review the offer and schedule an appointment with their seller to go over the contents of your agreement. Once the offer has been submitted, the ball is now in the seller's court. The seller will then have three options of what to do with your offer. Option number one is to accept your offer. This means that the seller is accepting the terms of your purchase agreement and will sign off on their portion of the document, including the confirmation of acceptance. That means that you have a deal. Option number two is for the seller to reject your offer. This means that the seller does not like your offer and will not like to proceed with the sale. Option number three is called a counter offer, which means that the seller agrees with a portion of your offer, but there are some things that they'd like to change. This could be including the closing date, the purchase price, or even the deposit amount. Any portions of the agreement that the seller would like to change would then be crossed off with the seller inputting the new information in and initialing those changes. Once they have done this and resubmitted their counter offer to you, the irrevocable period will start again, which means that you will have until the certain time of expiration of the irrevocable period to decide whether you are going to accept their counter offer, reject their counter offer, or counter their counter offer. Depending on the market that you're in, counter offers can go back and forth almost like a tennis game between buyers and sellers. This can continue to happen until an agreement is made or one party decides to walk away. This tactic is not to be used in every market. For example, in a seller's market, when the seller is presented with multiple offers, a seller might decide to just reject your offer outright in favor of another offer that is closer to the terms that they are looking for rather than to count your offer and have a back and forth discussion. Once an agreement has been reached, both parties will receive their copy of the fully signed agreement of purchase and sale. Both parties will also then sign the acknowledgement, acknowledging that they have received their signed copy. At this time, you, the buyer, will have 24 hours to bring your deposit check to the listing agent's brokerage office or wherever it has been determined for drop off. This is of course, unless you have submitted your deposit with your offer. At this point, if there are conditions that need to be filled, then it is determined that the property is sold conditionally. 
you will have the conditional period to be able to fulfill the conditions that were outlined in the agreement. If there are no conditions, then the property is sold firm. Congratulations, you have just purchased your first property. Now that you know what to expect when it comes on to the offer process, you may also be interested in learning what happens during the closing process. This is where you can learn how to avoid things that could delay your closing or abort your closing altogether. Making an offer on your first home is a very exciting time, but it can also be very stressful. This is why your agent will definitely be able to assist you to make sure that it runs smoothly by having a strategy and explaining the entire process for you. If you're considering purchasing a new property, but the entire process is leaving you feeling overwhelmed, our contact details are in the show notes. Contact us and we will get you on the path to home ownership.